success. We could probably go around the room and ask everyone in here what success is, and everybody would have a different definition. Um, success in some, some people's eyes is maybe showing a profit at the end of the year, or some people's definition of success is, I have a friend who actually has terminal brain cancer. So waking up the next day is actually a success for him. Today I'm going to be telling you about my business and I'm going to tell you why I believe that we have been successful. My name is Terry Ann Funk and my business is Clinch River Adventures. This is a map of the Clinch and just the state of Virginia, of course it pans on into Tennessee. Um, the headwaters is going to be here in Tazewell, um, it's going to flow down. In the middle of this, directly in the middle of it, is St. Paul, Virginia. This is where we are located. Okay. Then, uh, of course, it's going to flow on down, and you're going to, it's going to flow right uh, through Natural Tunnel State Park. We are located in the heart of Appalachia in St. Paul. Uh, we actually um, signed a contract on um, a caboose there. We operate out of a caboose. And whenever this first came about, I was, I was, I was like, man, this is crazy. But you know what? It's so easy to find. You know why? Because it's a big red caboose. So... So anyways, we, um, our location is directly on the clinch, and the best part about all this is, is that the first phase funding for the Clinch River State Park was just passed. And if you're looking at this, from St. Paul up, there's no other outfitters, okay? There's an outfitter in Dungannon, but he does not have a spot, he does not promote, and the only thing he does is for the Creeper Trail, and we're getting ready to take over that next year, okay? He offers kayak trips. Um, and then on down Natural Tunnel State Park, we've already actually talked to them about confirming contracts with them on putting one, putting an outfitter down there because all they do is guided trips. And everything that we do thus far is unguided, okay? So if you're looking at the Clinch River, we are the only outfitter that offers tubing, canoeing, and kayaking, and there's a state park getting ready to come in. They're acquiring land right now in Russell County and it's going to pan, I would think, it's going to pan from Cleveland to Dungannon. It's where I, I'm thinking that it's going to end up, and we are directly in the middle of it. So if you're looking at an advertising plan, it's fantastic for us because why? They're going to be promoting a state park, but we're going to be the ones offering watercraft to go down the river. And again, we're the only one doing this right now on the Clinch River. All right, so why are we a success? This is one of the reasons I, and this is so simple, but you know what, the simpler the better, better in my eyes. All right, first year we were open, 2013. Um, we had 40 tubes, four kayaks, and a canoe. Actually, the canoe ended up with a hole in it at the end of the year, so that's not a good, uh, it's not good for the river, of course, so. But 92% uh, tubing, four, or actually the rest of the 8% orange here is gonna be uh, kayaking, canoeing, and then of course retail, $7,123. We were ecstatic. We made $323 our first year of business. <laughs> All right, so in between these two years, at the end of 2013, we received $5,000 in the first Entrepreneur Challenge. We were ecstatic again. We were so pumped up. All right, so what we did was we had turned away so many businesses the first year in them bringing their entire practice down or a group of colleagues wanting to float down the river. So what we did, we actually was able to take the $5,000, we injected it back into our business with watercraft, canoes and kayaks, and we were able to take $5,000 and turn it into $22,000. In my eyes, I think that is success. So from 2013 to 2014, we had a 215% increase. That is, the reason for that is, is because first off, we created networks that allowed us to be successful. And we cross-promoted businesses. Also in St. Paul, I forgot to mention this, is Spearhead Trails. Spearhead Trails, um, there's actually information in your all's folders on that. I don't need to go into that. 2015, we still, um, we still increased sales. Now this, uh, this stat, I don't want it to be misleading, 328% or 328%, that is based off 2013 sales, okay? Uh, from 2014, I'm thinking it was like 72 or 78%, but that's still pretty awesome, okay? Um, and this, uh, 
In between, at the beginning of this year, we had some unforeseen uh, circumstances, and this is really with minimum marketing, 2015. All right, so where are we going? Next year, we want to get into the guided fishing trips. This is a sector of the market that we're completely missing right now due to the sheer fact that we, well, we do have the money to do it now, but to do it correct and to market it the correct way, we, um, funding from this challenge would be fantastic. We also want to get into the RV park. Why in the world would you want to get into the RV park whenever that you're on the river? Well, first off, Spearhead Trails is located in St. Paul, okay? There is, there's other campgrounds, but Maggie Way Campground is the only campground that is directly connected to St. Paul as well as the trail system. They have been at 100% occupancy since January, okay? So, we want 20 campsites and 10 RV hookups. That's just for 2016. 2018, and the thing is, we are of course here to sell Clincher Adventures, but we are selling Southwest Virginia as a whole. We are not trying to just promote Clint River Adventure. We, we are promoting the entire, everybody. And the more that we can come together, for instance, us and Spearhead Trails, or us and your ranch, the more, first off, the more customers, and if we can keep them here overnight, and right now, St. Paul, Virginia does not have the infrastructure from an RV standpoint or a campsite standpoint. They do not, you know why? Because they were calling, people were calling Clinch River Adventures wanting to know where that they could stay. I live in the town of St. Paul, you know what I told them? I said, don't, you can't bring your RVs, but if you have a, a tent, I said, you're more than welcome to, to camp in my backyard. And I know that's crazy to say that, but there is a huge market right now for this, and no one is, well, actually, Maggie Way Campground is capitalizing on it. They're at 100% occupancy. Oh my goodness. All right, 2008 RV park, increased campsites, build five cabins, five glamping domes, paddle boarding, bike rental, five-year plan. This is where we want to go with it. We are at a six-month business right now. We want to go to a 12-month business, and the winter tubing would allow us to do, to do that. Job creation is very, very important to us. 2013, we had three employees, and we have doubled that. Again, this is seasonal employees. 2016, we want a full-time secretary for paperwork, phone calls, and so forth. Two fishing guys, a shovel driver, and by 2020, we're gonna have five to eight, employee, five to eight employees for the winter tubing, additional three to five for Clinch River Adventures, and two full-time management positions. This is projections for 2016. Uh, projections are based off a 10% increase from 2015. 